Hey everyone, my name is Sean Cecil from the Oculus Institute. And today we're gonna to talk about SMART goals. Okay, so you guys have probably heard the term SMART goals. Um, and I can tell you that this particular rendition is going to be different, most almost certainly, than what are, whatever it is you've heard in the past. There are some that are gonna be the same, right? But there are there's one or two that I use in my approach to SMART goals that I think is gonna be different than, than what you're used to hearing. Um, and one of the reasons for that is that I don't use achievable or realistic because most people are really bad at assessing that. And I don't think that those are good goals to use, good uh, criteria to use for goals. So let's walk through setting SMART goals. And then next week, we're gonna follow up with a video on how people sabotage their goals. So we'll, we'll start off with S. So the, the S is gonna be the same as what you've heard, which is specific. Right, and specific is related to the M, which is measurable, right? So um, let me differentiate a little bit between specific and measurable. So specific is gonna be something where somebody says, hey, listen, I wanna get in shape. Okay, well, what does that mean, right? Are you, when you say get in shape, are you talking about building more muscle mass? Are you talking about cutting body fat? Are you talking about your ability to run a certain distance in a certain time? What does that mean, right? So specific is about the specificity. Once you've gotten down to a specific target, then you bring in the measurable component of the M, which is, can you at all quantify it? If at all possible, you want to be able to attach a number, right? Because, you know, there's no BSing a number. Um, that said, if you can't attach a number, it is possible to do measurable by a pass fail, but you need to have a specific evidence procedure either this event has occurred or this event has not occurred, right? That's measurable. Now, one thing that uh, that people don't often consider, right, is that they'll, they'll sit there and they'll think about the what they're actually doing in the number for like the process instead of where they actually wanna be at the end state. And then what happens is they'll proliferate a whole bunch of goals that are goals that are really like process metrics right and you don't you don't want to do that you want to have the the goal that you're looking for is the end state where you say hey i've achieved victory that's the goal right the planning comes later right but the specific thing that you want is the specific end state and the measurable is how will you know that you've achieved it for sure right so that's the way you want to think about the s and the m now a is where i kind of diverge a little bit from most people the term that i use for a is actionable right? Your goal needs to be actionable, which means it needs to be dependent upon actions that you can take, right? If you say, hey, my goal is for my ex to come call me back and get us and so we can get back together. That's not necessarily within your control, especially if they're not taking your calls, right? If there's nothing you can do to cause that outcome, then that's not an actionable goal, right? You need to have a goal where you are in control of the outcomes. So like health goals are great. Increasing income goals are great. Um, going out and meeting somebody new is great, right? But like, if you're stressing about stuff that's not inside your control, if your goal is for a particular candidate to win the election, <laughs> that's not in your control, right? That's not useful. That's not actionable, right? So your goal needs to be actionable. For R, the, the one that I like to use for R is relevant, which means it has to be relevant to you and your authentic values, right? So what... You know, what's problematic is like many people will set goals because they're things they feel they should do, right? That they ought to do or that they must do. It's even worse. They have to do, right? Those aren't really relevant to you. You're doing them because somebody else told you to or your projection of what somebody else said, right? If you really want to be motivated to go and do the hard work to reach a goal, it's got to be relevant to you. And then finally, the T, we come back to the same one that most people use, which is time bound which is you need to set a time for when you expect to have it done by, right? Otherwise, it's not a goal, it's an aim somewhere in the indefinite future. And that means that it's unlikely to ever get done. So you wanna have a time bound thing. And when you have all these, when you have a specific end state that's, that's precisely defined as to where you wanna be, you know exactly how you're gonna achieve it. You know that there are actions that you can take to do so. It's a meaningful goal to you and you have a target timeline that is very, very likely that you're actually going to do what's necessary to achieve the goal. If those are missing, every one of them that's missing makes it far less likely. 
So with that said, we're gonna circle up next week and talk about some of the ways that people sabotage their goals. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's something that resonated with you, maybe a new connection that you made or, or some information that shifted your perspective, if you found value here, then I wanna give you one last gift. So I've put together a free diagnostic that I call a checkup with the career doctor. Short list of questions, and as you answer them, it's gonna give you a readout of where you stand on the important metrics of career fulfillment, right? How happy are you with your job and how good a fit is it, right? Financial success, which we all know, and then internal alignment, which is your level of inner peace and the inner resources that you have to bring to creating the life that you want. Additionally, it's also gonna show you which areas you can improve on to, to get those metrics moving in the right direction, as well as how can we at the Oculus Institute help you make progress. So it's totally free, 100%. All you have to do is just go to www.oculusinstitute.com slash purpose quiz, right? Um, no spaces, no dashes, just oculusinstitute.com. That's O-C-U-L-U-S. I-N-S-T-I-T-U-T-E dot com slash purpose quiz. Um, and you can take it totally for free. Uh, you'll get a free report sent to you. And then at the end, it will give you some next steps of what you can do to reach out so that we can help you create the career of your